Okay, so let's start with Eclipse. Now, just to prepare you, I have not done this in Eclipse before, so I'm going to try this for the first time while recording. Now, this will be edited to make it seem smoother and much more professional, but I'm going to go through the pain just as you would. So if I see anything odd, I will point it out. So that's the workspace, that's where our project is going to be stored. Okay, so this is the basic workspace. I do not have a project yet. So I am going to create a new, so it could be a Java project. What I'm hoping for is something, there we go. So I'm going to create a new Maven project. That way it will set up the structure for me. Use default workspace location, that'll be fine. I'm going to create a simple project. Let's see what it does. So, because it's Maven, I have to give it a, a bunch of information. So, you're coming in here. Let's do this. I'm going to stick this on the eviltester.com group. Artifact ID will be I'm going to call this Selenium Maven Eclipse. Snapshot versioning is fine. Jar versioning is fine. Big name, which is descriptive enough. I'll put it in there. That should be enough to start that going. And let's see what it does for us. So, we now have a sample palm, a source file set up, which is the default Maven one. Great, so it has done the basics for us using this. Maven, if you don't know, has a standard <coughs> folder structure for Java, which is how it does its, it works its magic for us by assuming that you have set everything up as a standard. So if we have a look at the palm that is created. Now I think because this is working on a virtual machine, it's a little bit slower than you would normally get. So I'm going to edit this down to make it seem smooth and fast and seamless. Okay, so there's the Eclipse palm plugin viewer. Now I'm going to look at the XML. It's a lot easier for me to work with this in the XML at the moment. So let's just quickly go off to the Selenium site and see what we have to do to get WebDriver incorporated in our project. Let's go off to seleniumhq.org and look at the Maven instructions. So there we go. We need to add this into our dependencies section. So let me create a dependencies section in here. And then paste in that dependency text. So what this is doing is it's bringing in, oops, let me spell that correctly. what this is doing is it's setting up the project so that Selenium is one of our dependencies. So now if I go in and create a test Okay, so let's call it my first test. If I'm going to put this in com dot evil tester dot web driver. Great. 
Great. So there's our first test. Well, there's our first class. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a test. Uh, so let's just All we're going to do is start WebDriver, visit a site, check the title. Since we're using Maven, really, I should add Maven. Well, I should add JUnit into the Maven pomp. So let's do that. So another dependency. So we want. So, let me show you, first of all, where I'm getting this information. So on the JUnit site, it tells us what we have to do to get JUnit into the, the project. So let me just copy and paste this into our POM file. There we go, save that. So now that we've added it into Maven, our IDE now knows that we've got JUnit in there. So it's saying, do you want to import tests from JUnit? Yes, I do. Thank you very much. And there we go. So let's create our first test. So what I'm going to need to do is create a web driver. Now keep hitting the IntelliJ keys. So we need to import WebDriver. Then we'll need to import the Firefox driver. Because remember we've installed Firefox on in this. So let's do driver dot navigate to I'm gonna open my website. This is the website where I put most of my Selenium information. Then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to check that we got there. So, so I'm going to assert that Check that the title starts with so we want to assert now I know that on my Selenium Simplified website the first words in the title are Selenium Simplified so if I get the title from the page that's there Now I'm not sure what I was thinking of when I put that there because I'm not doing a start equal. Starts with Selenium Simplified. Alright, so what this is doing, if you haven't seen WebDriver before, what we've done is I've created a an object, a WebDriver object, and the Firefox driver implements everything required to be a web driver, then I'm navigating to SeniumSimplified.com and asserting that the title starts with that. Then I will close this down. So let's run this test. Well, let's save this. Let's run this test and see what happens. So right-clicking, run as JUnit test. 
Eclipse has G unit support out of the box. I'll open up the firewall on this. And the test passed. So because the firewall prompt got in the way, let's run it again. So Firefox is coming up. It's going to the website. It's checking the tile. Easy. So that's the first test in Eclipse using Maven. That was pretty simple. So now you could, from this point, carry on start learning about WebDriver, follow whatever tutorials and instructions you find on the website, and you're good to go.